She made a comment recently on Facebook and someone said, Harley, regardless of the truth, your comments about her parents and sexuality are really harsh and not needed. Let the facts speak for themselves. Those couple of sentences don't need to be there. So I mentioned that someone's parent, someone's dad is an alcoholic and the mother had a nervous breakdown and let the nanny look up, raise her, raised by the nanny. And she's a virgin living at home. I'll say these things, not out of hate or whatever, just to clarify the situation. Because a lot of people relate to people on YouTube or celebrities or the internet or, or whatever, and they think their lives are so perfect. But reality is, not everyone has a shiny life. Even if people pretend they live in you know uni unicorn world or whatever, everyone's got some things going on. I mean, my dad, he's dead. My mum's more uh, ob clinically obese. You know, I used, to, I used to live on this street, and a few years ago I was homeless living on welfare. I like to be honest and transparent with these things so people can go, oh, they can relate more. When people try and be shiny and pretend they're perfect and lie about that, I'm like, well, that's not true. Why don't you share what's going on? You know, why don't you share what's going on? Don't be ashamed of it or try and hide it. That just leads to like, you're always trying to hide something the rest of your life. Just be honest and transparent about it. This is how it is. That's what my parents do. That's what happened to me as a kid, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Doesn't make you a bad person. But when you try and hide it and pretend that you're something else, that, you know, when you try and pretend you're perfect, when your family's perfect, when your life's perfect, everything's perfect, that's not real life. That's, that, that builds up a lot of stress. But I can understand why people do it because they're, they're in their 20s or they're young and they're like, everything's perfect. And you've got all these things like with Instagram, you know, you got your iPhone, it's all shiny and new and gold. And, you know, it's just, we live in this world where like perfectionism is like, wow, she's like, yes, yes, you know. But in my opinion, it's a fucking false standard because it's perfectionism's the lowest standard. Because you can't be perfect. Your family can't be perfect. Your fucking kids can't be perfect. Your fucking body's never perfect. Your fitness can't ever be. You know, it's just people are trying to be like, this is, you know, like, <laughs> but it's fucked up. So all I do when I make comments like that, it's not a, like a, a hate or whatever. It's just to say, look, this person's not perfect either. They pretend they are, but they're not. And that's just how it is. It's not like a good or bad. It's just, it just is what it is. So I, I find by putting everything on the table, information-wise, people can decide, you know, the more information someone has, correct, honest information, objective information, transparent information an individual has, the more they can say, okay, oh, I've got all the facts here. I can make new beliefs based on my own personal conclusions versus based on half-truths or fake stuff or whatever. So we like to be legit and transparent with things that need to be said. So I hope we will clarify that. So it wasn't out of a hate, it was out of transparency and a desire for it to help other people be more transparent about issues that need to be raised. Lying about things isn't the right way to go about it. And we live in a culture where if you're honest and transparent about your opinion on something, you're seen as attacking. <laughs> it's like, fuck man, that's crazy. To be honest is considered like attacking. That's just so, where did that belief system come from? Some new world order where you keep your opinion to yourself and you just, you just watch on the television box when you get home from work each day, you watch the news and that's, that's the only opinion, you just talk about that and that's, that's it. But when there's real problems in your community, yeah, talk about that because you're attacking someone now. That's crazy. The first step to change, the first step to recovery is seeing something for how it is, not worse than it is, not better than it is, just to see how it is, to see it how it is. The bike's got a flat tire, it's got a flat tire. Trying to deny that and riding on that and break your carbon rim, it's not worth that. You don't see it worse. Oh my God, the tire's flat, fucking it's crazy. Just flat, let's fix it. Something's happened in the past, adjust. You know, the past is the past, you can't change that. What we can change is the present moment. We can reflect on that and make direction for better change, for our, our goal, what's your goal? What do you want to achieve? Trying to deny a situation that's happening now, that just, you know, that's just like the elephant in the room putting the blinkers on, doesn't work that way. And that's when people just keep living the same mistakes and they have kids and they teach that behavior to their kids and they just keep repeating the cycle for generations and generations until someone says, stop, stop. We need to make an adjustment here because this is the wrong direction. So I, I disagree with the approach that 
keep things to yourself, don't be an attacker, just be like, namaste, namaste. And all this false bullshit. But then people come on my page and start attacking me. I don't see it as an attack. They share my opinion. They're judging me. I'm judging others. Fine. But when people say, I don't judge people, but I'm judging you, Harley. <laughs> it's like, hang on. You're a hypocrite. It's hypocritical to call someone judgmental. Because now you're judging them. It's fine to judge. It's a basic human instinct. And it helps people. Staying silent when others are harming themselves or others with their actions or information. That's not the loving thing to do. To speak up and say, hey, I disagree with that. Or, hey, this is how it really is. That's the loving thing to do. It takes more energy. It takes more carbs. It takes more courage to stand up and say, hey, this is actually what's going on. Versus just be silent and go, yeah, peace and hugs or whatever. It doesn't take any energy at all. Anyone can do that. Anyone can stand aside and let problems run past. It takes a real person to stand in the way and say, look, no, 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 no. This is going to change right now. I'm going to share my opinion. So share your opinion. Don't be scared to be labelled as an attacker. Be objective, be transparent, be honest, be nice about it. And you're not an attacker if you're being honest and nice. Just fucking be honest, basically. It's always the right time to do the right thing.